This is Info Live TV headline news, August 20th. I'm Daniel Ben Noon. Israeli wind server Shachar Tuberi won a bronze medal on Wednesday as he sailed his final race in the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games. It was Israel's first medal of the 2008 Olympic Games and its seventh of all time. Prime Minister Ehud Olmert called Tuberi after the race to congratulate him on his win. The Prime Minister told the Olympian that he was thoroughly impressed by his cool confidence and said that he had brought many tears of joy to the Israeli people. Hamas has warned that abducted IDF soldier Gilad Shalit will face a fate as uncertain as that of missing airman Rana Rad if Israel continues to drag on the negotiations for a prisoner exchange. A spokesman for the Gaza-based terrorist group made the comment on Tuesday during an exercise simulating the capture of Israeli soldiers. He also accused Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas of pressuring Israel to delay negotiations so as not to release Hamas prisoners. Likud chairman Benjamin Netanyahu on Wednesday slammed the cabinet decision to release 199 Palestinian prisoners as a gesture to Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. The Knesset held a special discussion on the prisoner release in which Netanyahu said that contrary to the government's claim, releasing prisoners does nothing to bolster Abbas. According to the Likud chairman, the prisoner exchange weakens Israel, strengthens the terrorist elements, and upsets the vast majority of the Israeli population. The European Union will give a financial boost to the cash-strapped Palestinian Authority on Wednesday to help Prime Minister Salam Fayyad pay public sector salaries. The 40 million euro injection of funds comes on top of the 256 million euros in budget support disbursed so far this year by the European Union. Fayyad has struggled in recent months to pay government workers because many Arab donors have not met their financial commitments. U.S. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice and her Polish counterpart signed a deal on Wednesday to build a U.S. missile defense base in Poland, an agreement that prompted Russia to warn of a possible attack against the former Soviet satellite. The deal to install 10 U.S. interceptor missiles just 115 miles from Russia's westernmost frontier has also strained relations between Moscow and the West, ties that were already troubled by Russia's invasion of its former Soviet neighbor, U.S. ally Georgia, earlier this month. New on InfoLive TV, a link that grants access to all of InfoLive TV video reports. Simply click on the All InfoLive TV video link. Thank you for watching InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television network that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.